it's just crazy. Look at that iris. There's so much color in these things, it's just madness. Hey everyone! So, um, I'm doing something today that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I'm honestly happy I held off on it though because um, our, our eye for it is far better than it used to be. So, if you can see I'm wearing my waterproof apron today, which means things are going down. Alright, before we start our cutting, let's talk a little bit about what an iris agate is to begin with. So, iris is an effect that can be viewed in highly transparent, densely banded agates. It appears in multiple different ways, as in uh, you can get colors like this that literally shimmer, or you can get colors like this that are more solid. These don't shimmer quite as much. But uh, it has a range of body. Um, typically speaking, you are looking for pieces that are very, very translucent to transparent and have, again, dense banding but they also need to have very transparent banding. But it can also be uh, very, very frustrating because not all <laughs> translucent, densely banded agates will turn into iris. You can see that shimmer, that is actually parallax banding. Iris could occur in pretty much any clear banded agate like these. These are all Montana agates. Um, some areas have them more commonly than others, like we're very, very fortunate in Montana that we have the level of iris agates that we do, we have quite a bit. But I mean, yeah, again, theoretically any transparent banded um, agate can turn into an iris. So things to look for are things like this, where that banding is so fine, you can't even actually see it. Sorry, I'm trying to find my focus, there we go. That banding is so fine you can't actually even see it without putting a flashlight on it. Some of my best iris producers look like this, and I can only speak for Montana agates because those are the ones I work with, but one of your best giveaways for iris is actually that white cap with bands that slowly radiate down from there. I will bet my life on the fact that these are iris. I don't know how much iris they're going to have, obviously, until we get into them, but I would literally bet money that these are iris agates. These are the two that I bet my life on are gonna have iris. So I'm, you know, a little afraid because if this doesn't pan out the way I expect, I might die. Well, that one is cut and it looks like, if I can get it to focus, I live to slab another day. It's gonna be hard to see at the moment. It's a little thick still. And my camera's being a jerk at the moment. But when we thin this down and polish it, that is absolutely an iris agate. So I guess that brings us to my other white knuckle option. <laughs> I'm not out of the woods yet. Aha! I win again! That's gonna be amazing. There's rainbow up here, there's a bit in here, a little empty section, and then more at the bottom. That is going to be so nice. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. Cool. All right. I'm glad I didn't make an empty promise. I get to live, guys. That's awesome. Uh, these are good to go. These will be soon. All right, everybody. These are all thinned down to where they need to be, which means they are all ready to go in the tumbler. And I get this question a lot of why I tumble slabs. Um, 
Do you see this pile? <laughs> I, I don't have time to, to go through it and hand polish every single one of these. So it is way faster for me to just throw them all in a tumbler and let them do their work. Then they come out to a very uniform polish as well. So before we throw these in though, I wanted to show specifically what we're looking for. Okay, now that they're thin, they're probably gonna be showing some pastel tones, but if I move this around, do you see that shimmer? That is kind of what we're looking for, actually. When you cut your slab, that is what you want to see, because it's either going to be iris or it's going to be parallax banding. Either way, it's a win. But yeah, that right there is totally what you want to see. This one I'm kind of leaning more towards. It's probably going to be parallax. Um, here is a really good example of what, of what you want to look for. You hold this up, you hold a light on it, you can see some faint banding, but when you get a light behind it, here, let me drown out that color so you can see it a little better. See how there's kind of just like milky banding in there? Well, yeah, when you get that thin enough, it's going to turn into rainbow. So, our friend Ozone Fine Art Ventures has been on an iris kick. She wants to, to find some iris of her own. So, um, knowing I was about to do this video, I said, well, why don't I send you some agates to cut? Because she has a much larger, much more reliable saw than mine. The box is packed. Let's get it over to her. Wait, what? It's a package from Theo. How exciting. After much anticipation, a package had been drop kicked into my yard that was to contain some of the mythical, highly sought after, and ever elusive iris agate. This stuff is so hot, you gotta watch your fingers. I put my raincoat on because Theo has sent me these rocks to cut, and where there's rain, there's rainbows. My mission, should I choose to accept it, was to cut the slabs of these gorgeous Montana agates thin, way far thin. I hand cut the small stone, but the other two required the big saw. And this stone is a story for a future video. Theo sent me three Montana agates to cut. That blue one we just saw wouldn't stay in the jaws of the saw, so the last one up is this softball glowing unicorn snowball. These agates can be tricky to cut. We had some unexpected, well, explosions, we'll say. But with Steve's handiwork, we got some cuts on that wily stone. What a totally cool stone. Montana agates are really in a class all their own. I took a piece of shrapnel to the flat lab to see if there were any hues to find. Getting a chance to work with these has been an educational, challenging, and fun project. How many times do you get your very own rainbows as payment for your efforts? Thanks, Theo, for the opportunity, and I'm still learning to cut these things. And film them as well. Cheers! Lily and Ochiko! <laughs> I need you guys to take this box to Theo. Okay, go. Go, go take it. What do you have, Floyd? What in the world? How does that work? Did you get this from, from Ochako and Lily? I mean, I don't even want to question that logistically because that just just confusing and makes no sense, but sweet. All right, let's look at these rocks. All right, so we got our stones back. If you'll remember, I sent her three. Well, one of them didn't yield anything, so I just let her keep it. Cause you know, I don't know if any of you knew this, but in Oregon, they don't actually have Montana agates. I know, crazy, right? I, I do, cause I live in Montana, so I can go get more. So I'm gonna unpack these, cause this is gonna take a second. I have a feeling, cause I'm clumsy. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what we got. Bunch of cuts from this one. Three nice slabs from this one, and then she polished two pieces. 
So looking at the little one, we'll start with the little one first. Where's my flashlight? You can see some color up top inside of that parallax. So this is this is a good one right here. That's super pretty. And some of these I think, oh man, like, like that. I mean, that would make some gorgeous cabochons. The big one on the other hand does have some iris. There's a little bit. Oh, how am I gonna gesture? You can see in that top corner, like center pocket, you see that, that little red and green right there? And that continues on all around on there. So there's a nice pocket right there. But then, see that kind of bright white band? Well, right on the opposite side of it, on the far side of it, there is another color bar, for lack of a better word. Right there, yeah, you can see it right there. So, that one does have iris, and the cool thing about that is if you look at the slab, you've got this right here. Looks like, oh, actually, yeah, that's, wow, I just lined that up perfectly. We've got that right there from this slab. So, whenever this gets fully polished, there will be a beautiful rainbow center, and then a rainbow line, and then just a really pretty slab on the outside. That is super exciting. Karen, I feel like I let you down. I should have sent you better, better agates. So um, expect more agates to arrive at some point that I've already confirmed to Iris. Cause yeah, I was supposed to send you some like crazy bangers and I, I feel like I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. And with that, that leaves only the, the tumbler left. So I will see you all in 24 hours and we can wrap up this video with uh, some Iris labs. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too close. They're done, and I've literally not moved from this position for 24 hours. It's, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I need food and sleep. Standing in one position for 24 hours isn't good for you, is what I've learned from this whole experience. All right, the results are in, and I am not the father. So that's good. Oh wait, what? Sorry y'all, you're all gonna have to deal with uh, Goofy Theo today. He's in a mood based on uh, sleep deprivation and drunk on color, anyway though, Oh my goodness. Okay, so this line down here is our no color. This middle line is our some color, and we'll just refer to that top pile as our banger pile, because they're crazy. One thing that is usually a surefire sign that it will cause iris, if I can get it to focus. See how there's that ripple pattern inside of the banding? There's that dark, milky up top, and then it gets really translucent right down bottom, but you see how it literally has a ripple pattern. Oh, and that is a result of the bands getting folded in on themselves, which again, is usually a really, really good sign for iris. That adds extra light paths, or paths for the light to take, so it diffracts better and causes rainbows. But for some reason, in this prime <laughs> iris specimen, it just didn't happen, which again, is a good example of why iris can be so frustrating to work with, because you really never know. Sometimes. A rock shows no sign of iris and is amazing. And sometimes a rock looks perfect for iris and has nothing. But all right, with all of that being said, it's time to move on to the moment you've all been waiting for, the banger pile. With this top pile, I can literally reach over and grab any random ag agate. And yeah, that is what iris is supposed to look like. It's so... Beautiful. All right. Look at how beautiful that is. That is just crazy. There's so much color in these things. It's just madness. And then here, grab this one. This is one of my favorites. Look at that iris. That's just. It's amazing. I don't have words to describe how amazing iris agates are. They're something else entirely. And I don't care how many times I see iris that I've cut. It is equally exciting <laughs> every single time. Here's another good example. Focus please, sir. Thank you. I mean, it's just incredible. You move it up and down and the tones change completely. Also, while I'm showing all of these, I want you all to keep in mind that I haven't shown you all the best ones yet. This one is so nice. It has so much beautiful color. Look at that. It's so pretty. 
again, this stuff just never gets old. It's so, so beautiful. You may remember earlier in the video when I bet my life on two agates and narrowly escaped death. Yeah, I think I can rest easy. <laughs> There's the first one. And I'd say uh, I was I was right on the money with that one. Here, I'll show some other slabs from that one. It, that That's a, such an amazing iris. It's just crazy. It's so cool. I cannot even believe these things. Uh, this is probably my favorite slab from that rock, though. Focus, please. Thank you. Oh, I got it backwards. There we go. There's so much iris in this thing, and it's such nice color. Oh, it's so cool. And uh, again, uh, speaking of agates that I bet my life on, here's the other one. So again, I think, I, uh, I think I'm okay. That is just something else entirely. Oh my goodness. That is so, so fantastic. Look at the color. And next is one of the ones that we took over to Kim's. Um, I actually got it back in time to throw it in the tumbler. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of this agate, I sent a piece of this to Rookie. Of this very agate. So, uh, if you guys want to see more Iris after this video, go over to Rookie's channel, because I swear it was not planned in any way, but he's actually doing an Iris video right now also. So, yeah, ch check that out. Go subscribe to Rookie. Rookie's amazing. Go watch him. All right, y'all. These three are probably my favorites. They're little, but oh my goodness. The color on these is just insane. Look at that. There's one, here's two, if I can get it to cooperate, it's just crazy. Look how beautiful that agate is. That is just crazy color. I, I don't know that I've ever seen one quite that vibrant, it's just crazy. All right though, but this one right here might be one of the most vibrant iris agates I've ever seen in my life. It is. Fantastic. I'm a little too high. There we go. I cannot believe the depth of color in this thing. Oh, I'm still a little too low. There we go. It's just madness. Isn't that amazing? I cannot believe that thing. So, um, yeah. I'd say all in all, uh, our mission to chase rainbows was a success. We set out to find Iris, and I'd say we did well. Oh my goodness. That is just incredible. So, after looking at all of our slabs, and what produced iris and what didn't, I've grabbed out some agates that are perfect dead ringers for what we cut. And that would be pieces like this, that have fading banding and a white cap. Pieces like this, sorry I'm getting it wet, that have cloudy milky banding, which does polish transparent and therefore diffracts light a little better. Uh, and then pieces like this which have yellow tones and quartz pockets. Again, white banding that gets a little bit more transparent as it goes down. So, long story short, these right here 
are the kind of agates you want to be looking for when it comes to iris. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Um, I'm insanely satisfied. We got some incredible iris out of <laughs> a lot. Actually, the majority of the, the rocks that we cut turned into iris, and that's awesome, which means we finally know exactly what we're like looking for specifically. Huge shout out to Karen, Ozone Fine Art Ventures for uh, <laughs> humoring me <laughs> and a uh, huge apology to her for not sending her better iris agates to cut that's totally on me but now that i know what i'm looking for we're gonna um do some cutting on my end and then send her rocks that i've already confirmed her iris instead of just sending some agates out that sounds like a better idea so yeah i'll have a link to her channel in the description go check her channel out and subscribe um i don't know that i've ever mentioned this on the channel before but i actually do a podcast with her rock on podcast if you guys want to see some some fun rock talk and interviewing your favorite rock hunting channels, come check it out. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. And on top of all that stuff, um, unplanned completely, but Rookie is also doing an Iris video right now. So whenever you're done watching this video, go over and watch Rookie's video because he is also gonna be chasing some rainbows. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this was just a lot of fun. And like I said, we will absolutely be, be going after some more Iris agates here soon. I'll always make sure to show them whenever I cut any. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments. Comments. Um, like and subscribe if I earned it. We do this kind of stuff all the time. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you next time.